Hello everyone, this is Estelle Tracy. I am a food writer, a chocolate sommelier, and uh, uh, founder of 37 Chocolates, which is a chocolate education company. Today is Thursday, and like every Tuesday and Thursday during this weird time, quarantine, COVID, um, I'm going live with a chocolate review. So I am particularly excited about this particular, I mean, tw twice I'm saying particular, I am particularly excited about today's review. Hello, Emel, because, um, well, I feel special now. So as I mentioned to you during the last video, I was the, um, uh, bonjour Geraldine, I was the lucky recipient of Dictator Chocolate's latest, uh, two latest release. The official release is actually today, and I just can't believe it just so happened that I had planned this for today. So I feel like VIP or something like that. Coucou Claire. Um, so let me tell you what's special. I mean, I'm talking about this as the latest release, but let me tell you what's special. So we have a vanilla milk, uh, vanilla milk chocolate and a hazelnut milk chocolate. So what is special is the milk that they're using in here and Coucou Geneviève. So the milk. So when I got the email from, um, Bri I won't say it's Bria Briani, Brian? I don't know how to pronounce this. Um, she told me they're using this A A2, A2 whole milk, which to me doesn't mean much. However, Dictator being uh, the organized amazingness, uh, amazing company that they are, they um, they send me the bars with this little uh, notice. Uh, I a little side note about Dictator um, sh like boxes when they ship. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're coming from. The unboxes is quite the experience. So I don't have the box with me. But um, I opened it. This is what it was on top. Look at the calligraphy. Obviously, somebody is talented. I have a dictator chocolate um, sticker. I have Brian Taylor. So she's related uh, to uh, D uh, Dustin Taylor, who is the co-founder of the company. And then all oh, a little pamphlet about uh, the actual milk. So what it says here is that, um, I mean, I can't let you read it, but Bottom line is, uh, back in the day, Scott produced um, milk with a specific, um, I think it's uh, it's uh, amino acid. I don't, I mean, I, I don't know this casein. I don't even, I, I don't even know what exactly the structure of casein is. Oh, it's a protein. Duh. I mean, anyway. So, uh, bottom line, it's the protein. And then one day, uh, A1 popped up and not traditional, not good for your tummy. And uh, A2, A2 is apparently like um, the more traditional milk. So the way I understand it, it's like if you guys have heard of einkorn, uh, for the French people uh, among you watching, um, it's uh, it's called Petit Epotre. Petit Epotre is like the ancestor of wheat. And uh, some people have a hard time digesting wheat, but they don't have any problem with einkorn. So it's, it seems like to me that's the same idea. So apparently some people have an easier time digesting this. So um, it comes from a family farm, Ale Alexander family farm. And uh, I'm excited to try it. So Dictator, for those of you who might not know, is actually based in California, in Humboldt County. Um, I believe I mentioned in a previous video, uh, it's, um, it's the marijuana capital of the world. Dictator is not fitting into the marijuana business. Obviously, they're into the delicious chocolate with good, yummy stuff in there. I have... Um, I have... Um, been following them since the beginning of since the 37 chocolate challenge they were part of my 37 chocolate challenge i discovered them with a uh i very much remember the fig bar of uh, fig uh, and Maga madagascar chocolate um and uh yeah so i remember i remember so much about them like the the wrapper and the more than everything, they are delicious. It's a brand that I recommend actually in um, 
uh, the My Food Survivor Guide for French Expat. I recommend it to French people because it's actually a uh, chocolate that has this European feel. And I find that a lot of French people who are looking for like finer chocolate uh, really enjoy dictator chocolate because it's kind of um, homey, if that makes sense for if you come from Europe. So uh yes and so every time you get like this is if i were to gift to make a gift to somebody to a friend like a chocolate gift uh beside ordering from my e-shop obviously uh i would actually go to their website which is um dictator if i'm not mistaken it's dictatorchocolate.com oh it's interesting because oh yeah dictatorchocolate.com yeah i don't think it's on the wrapper i'm not seeing it right now but it's okay dictatorchocolate.com uh it's just like there's just so much addition to detail so the there's a hazelnut and the, uh, the vanilla i have to say i'm personally more of a hazelnut than vanilla person um and i'm thinking we should start with the vanilla milk chocolate so that one is made um you can see like it's you see this this is a it's letter press uh it's made it's made in house um and i think i mentioned before the company so adam dick and dustin taylor were um carpenters and they were building boats and uh on you you actually see a boat on most of their wrappers this is the exception you see like it's much more like this looks like austria to me uh for my french friends like you can imagine heidi hanging out there um yeah i mean i don't know if you, you watch heidi in the u.s but um those who know know um yes i like that they actually put the cow as the star of uh of the wrapper so we have as ingredients cacao cane sugar a2a2 whole milk powder cocoa butter and vanilla bean the cacao um it's actually it says uh it's brazilian cacao so it's um it's the same base for both of them so i'm gonna like this this is why i love like gifting this as gift yes claire was saying love the packaging me too because it's really like um it's you don't i don't have wrap it when i give it to friends i'm like this is this is it I'm, i i really don't like waste i don't like extra things that are going to end up in the garbage and like i had mentioned that uh before you can actually um like think about college graduation or whatever you could actually throw like like money here you know it's a perfect money uh holder so then let me show you this is inside very neat it used to be five years ago it was four and then they changed to this and i think if there's any chance that the chocolate will ever melt this would do a better job of keeping it you know inside and not too messy look at the mold Mm, smells good smells caramelly to me um uh, gorgeous mold and so let's do it i hope their hazelnut one has crunchies that's what i'm hoping i love chocolate with like crunchy pieces in it oh my gosh this is delightful oh gosh this is good mmm Yeah, you can't fake uh, good. Oh my god, I can't fake like when it's like good. This is good. This is really good. Um, texture is super smooth and creamy. It's um for those of you who are familiar with the Castronovo chocolate dark milk. You, this is slightly thicker. The amazingness is is there. I'm getting lots of caramelly, like it's caramel, pure caramelly goodness um this is so good so good um oh my gosh how can you top that one up? i mean if there's hazelnut with that one it, it will be incredible um i'm getting it just on the finish like a little teeny like lemony note but past that this is pure amazing goodness so this was the vanilla milk chocolate and so next a hazelnut milk chocolate wow but i mean i'm gonna this is a chocolate that i'm gonna savor i'm not gonna just eat the whole thing at once oh it's so good so if you're looking for a treat if like um 
I mean, I just read a story about um, a family in Texas that man did wanted to gather for a birthday, 30th birthday party, and three of them, everybody caught COVID because of the cousin, and three out of the hospital, and I don't mean to be like a Debbie Downer, but the reality is uh, it's still not safe to do our, I mean, there's no, we're not back to pre-COVID time, we just learned to live with it. And it's just not safe to, you know, gather places or, you know, travel far. I mean, apparently Europe doesn't even want Americans to travel to Europe. But what I'm saying is that it will make your summer so much more pleasant to have wonderful chocolate with you. Um, I just saw on their dictator chocolates that um, you get free um summer shipping like you know the they adding ice pack <coughs> excuse me so they're adding ice packs to their um to their packages but they won't charge you extra if you spend 29 dollars those bars are 950 each so you essentially buy four you don't even need to pay for the like ice pack and everything and you get the super nice unboxing experience um yeah sounds good email but yeah i mean just like if, the, if chocolate helps you get through this time and keep your keeps your loved one, you know, um, healthy, isn't that worthy? Get your chocolate, throw your chocolate parties. And I have one ticket left for my Zoom tasting. I ended up messing my mouth and there is one ticket for the July 15 tasting. So if you really wanted to spend time with me on, with chocolate, go ahead. I mean, you can just scroll down and, and click the... The link on this page but um ch chocolate chocolate changes everything so the one the, the hazelnut one when i was talking about all this stuff i'm like opening this look at that so you can see you have all these like bits and pieces of hazelnut i um and i'm sure my french friends who are watching this now would agree but i mean i'm a fan of hazelnuts and i think in the us it's like i think peanuts are more popular my favorite nuts are pistachios and hazelnuts. And I wish I could see more hazelnuts on US bars. I don't know if you agree. I love Gianduya and I hope the the hazelnuts are yummy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh I, I should have I should have this on um, perfume. Emel says she loves hazelnut. Turkish pride too. I mean, you know, Turkey is a uh is a big tur uh, hazelnut country. Um and I think that's also that's, I mean, it's, I won't say it's our blood, but whatever. Um, go hazelnut. Oh my gosh. Mmm. This smell is incredible. Hey, pure hazelnut, roasty hazelnut. Mmm. Oh my word. How can you not like this? This, I mean... It's amazing what just a few hazelnuts are doing to the whole experience. Uh, it's essentially the same base of chocolate as the previous one. Um, but it's amazing how much just the hazelnuts are changing the whole experience. The smell, the aroma. I mean, my gosh, pure hazelnut. The other one smelled like caramel. And then all oh, these crunchy bits. So this I have no self-control over. I would love to say, oh, you know, the chocolate is really expensive and fun. You just eat, you're satisfied with a little bit. Sometimes it's true, but other times, like here, it's not going to be true. It's not going to last a long time. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Uh, uh, almond are my number three. Because almonds, this is my opinion, but you tell me what you think. I think sometimes um almonds have more flavor when they have the skins on and in a lot of desserts you get rid of the skin and a lot of flavor is in the skin and personally i like cooking with like almond um almond mineral stuff so i see some comments i'm just gonna read um so he lots of hazelnuts lover mm. oh this is so good i mean i like the taylor but I love these bars. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, I think the, um, I mean, whatever this A2, A2 protein, 
I mean, it's, it could be A3 for like her. This is just yummy. And that's all there is to it. Oh my gosh. I guess I'm still hungry. I didn't eat a big lunch. I guess it shows because this one, I mean, I have to like restrain myself. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So, where do we go from there? We go to dictatorchocolate.com and um, shop vanilla milk and um, hazelnut and we add to cart $29 you don't pay for the extra packaging life is good stay safe everyone stay in your home eat as much chocolate as you can possibly handle if that means it helps with your morale and if you're that's the beauty of it my one editor um, actually is researching like foods that make you feel good and she says that is chocolate is the one proven food that um, helps lift your spirits I would add that exercise is pretty up there I mean exercise is a wonderful thing for my mood but chocolate can make so many things sweeter um, so yeah there you have it thank you dictator chocolate for sending me uh, those wonderful bars I hope you uh, give them a try uh, Claire is so hungry now. I get it. Um, but it's time for me to let you go. I hope you can find... Well, Claire is in Canada. But you can find, I'm sure, some really yummy things uh, from Soma. And um, I think that's the same caliber. So this is like Soma caliber, in my opinion. Um, so you could uh, get them there. But I've seen Dictator in um, Montreal last year when I went. So anyway, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful, safe weekend. Remember to wear your mask and wash your hands and don't gather like my neighbors did on Saturday. Um, they uh, had a barbecue uh, with lots of people. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> Depending on what you, you're going for. Uh, and eat chocolate. See you on Tuesday.